Well Control Blazers, today we're diving into custom metadata types. By the end of this tutorial, you have a solid grasp of how to utilize this feature to supercharge your Salesforce implementations. Let's kick things off by defining custom metadata. At its core, custom metadata is, as the name suggests, uh, metadata, but with some powerful characteristics. It's customizable, deployable, packageable, and most importantly, upgradable. This means it's not just a static configuration, it's dynamic and can evolve as your Salesforce implementation grow. Uh, let's dive into some practical applications mentioned here in the Salesforce documentation, the first one being mappings. So imagine you want to associate cities or states to specific regions. Custom metadata can, set up, can be set up to create these linkages by doing so you have a dynamic mapping that is both deployable and customizable. The second example is uh, business rules, combining configuration with functionalities and other strengths of custom metadata. Let's say you're a business that needs to uh, route payments to different endpoints with custom metadata types combined with some nifty Apex code, you can define these routes dynamically. Third is primary, primary data. So consider you're using a standard accounting app with custom metadata. You can define custom charges like duties and bad rates. And the beauty is that if this metadata type is part of an extension package, other organizations can reference this primary data directly. Next, we have allowed lists. Managing lists is another powerful use case, whether it's a roster of approved donors for a charity or a list of pre-approved vendors for business, custom metadata offers a streamlined solution. Uh, finally, secrets, safety first. If you're developing packages and need to store sensitive information like API keys, protected custom metadata types within your package can be your best solution. Um, now, these are just a few examples. The versatility of custom metadata means that its applications are vast. It's all about understanding its capabilities and then molding it to suit your business needs. Now for this tutorial, we're going to delve deep into the first use case, mappings, and I'll demonstrate how you can associate countries with specific regions on the account object using custom metadata. First, we need to create a custom metadata type Think of this as a blueprint and it outlines the form of the application metadata. So to begin, we go to setup here in my hands-on org and search custom metadata. Custom metadata types, click new custom metadata type and let's give it a label. We can be, it can be region mapping and plural region mappings um, we can click save and we can start creating fields for it um, let's do a pick list uh, let's name this one region and let's give it some values. It can be North America, uh, Latin, uh, European Union, and let's make it required. Click next, um, add it to the layout. And note that it supports um, validation rules and also um, page layouts. And that's the beauty of custom metadata. It sits somewhere in between custom settings and custom objects. So now we can manage region mappings, that is adding the records. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll We'll add USA and link it to North America. 
Brazil. Okay. That is LATAM. And finally, let's do Spain. Um, that is European Union. We click Save. And uh, note that we can also insert these records using the metadata API. Uh, now, one consideration is uh, to remember uh, that Salesforce doesn't allow DML operations directly on custom metadata in Apex, but on the upside, it doesn't count against SOCO limits when queried. Now, something else to keep in mind is that you have to manage permissions for the custom metadata, and you do that by going to your profile. go to custom metadata types click edit and set uh, enable the newly created custom metadata now next we're going to implement a flow to auto populate the region field on the account, for example, let's say we are on a, an account. We want to auto populate the region based on the country that we enter. So if we if we enter USA, we want this value to automatically be North America according to the mapping we just created in the custom metadata. So to create a flow let's go to setup again search flow new flow this one is going to be a record trigger on the account object when a record is created or updated and for the sake of this tutorial we'll add no conditions so let's save give it a name can be um, region account region automation we save and the first thing we need to do is query the custom metadata and we can do so by adding the get record let's name this get um, region mapping and <clears throat> here we set the the newly created custom metadata that is region mappings we will say that we want the label to be equals the the account country uh, billing country now we save only the first record and now that we have the regions mapping we're going to update the account that triggers this flow so update triggering record we name this update account region okay and we'll say the region is going to be equals the region from the mapping that we queried uh, here 
we save this and activate it so now let's test it if I go back to the account and change the country to Spain I would expect the region to be European Union we save and see EU in the region now let's do Brazil and we got LATAM let's go USA again and we got North America so for the developers out there one fantastic thing about custom metadata is that you can query it using SQL and use it in Apex to dynamically control behavior in your classes. That wraps up our beginner's guide to custom metadata types in Salesforce. You can dive deeper with Salesforce official documentation. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.